Adding hardware bins to my French cleat system has been an indispensable tool in my shop. I can move it from an organized area where everything is stored over to where my workspace is, use what I need to use, and then put stuff back, and it's been great. And I found myself needing a couple extra, so I figured I would show you guys how I build these quick and easy boxes. Now I'll save you guys from a bunch of footage of me cutting stuff up on the table saw or cutting everything to length on the miter saw, but I will give you the dimensions. Now on these six inch pieces, I come over a half inch and I come up two inches and I connect the dots. I trim that piece off on the bandsaw, but if you don't have a bandsaw, there's another version at the end of this video that shows you another design that you can just use on a miter saw. Now to keep all these in place, I'll use a combination of wood glue and CA glue with an accelerant, and that'll hold everything in place until I use staples or brad nails to assemble them all together. The two inch piece goes in front, the five inch piece goes on the bottom, the four inch piece goes on the back, the two six inch pieces go on the side. Once you get it all cut up, it's pretty self-explanatory. I like to use staples for projects like these, but you could use brad nails or you could just keep the super glue and wood glue and that'll hold up over time as well as I've done both. I like to round over the front and kind of sand the edges down to make sure that I don't get any splinters as time goes on. And other than filling them up, that's a wrap. You can also make little dividers like I've done with this quarter inch plywood, and that'll let you put two or more items in one bin. These things work really well. And like I say, being able to move them around the shop means you can just take your work where you need to go and you always have stuff at arm's reach. Thanks for watching.